Hey everyone, how's it going? Joey Kissimmee here with ThinkOnPress.com and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a Facebook landing page just like the one you see here with the video on the left hand side of me and my happy gold smiley face, the Aweber web form on the right hand side so people can opt in, the little arrow here and the uh, the headline here, the real short headline here. So this is really simple and easy to do guys. It's really not difficult at all. In fact, I'm going to give you the source code so you can just copy and paste it right into your timeline uh, and just start editing any way that you want, okay? So there's a few things that you are going to need uh, to be able to make this work for you in your Facebook timeline. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is a plugin that's called Static HTML and it's just a plugin that's, that was created for Facebook and it allows you to embed code and do some HTML type of things, right? The second thing you're going to need is obviously a video. So you could upload your videos up to like uh, YouTube, Vimeo, or even to your own server and just get the embed code and put it here. The third thing that you're going to need is an Aweber account to create your web form so people could opt in to your list. Now you don't need Aweber, you could use this with like eye contact, get response, or any one of those. I use Aweber, it's the only thing I know how to use it and that's the one I'm going to show you how to do, okay? But the concept's the same. So now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and start showing you how to create this, uh, your very own Facebook landing page. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, this button here to go to my fan page. Now once I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and right here in the search bar, I'm going to go ahead and type in static. Okay, that's all you really need to type in. You don't need to type in the whole thing. You're going to get a, a list of, of, of different plugins. The one I'm going to show you how to use today is this first one here that's called static HTML iframe tabs okay now i'm gonna go ahead and click on that real quick now guys if you're on my blog in incompress.com you're going to see the all the links that you're going to need to down below this video okay i'm going to provide you with all the links and, and and redirects to the places that you'll need like the static html and the awebers and so forth okay if you're on uh, youtube or watching this anywhere else then just go to www.incompress.com forward slash Facebook landing page all together, okay? And it'll take you to this uh, post uh, with all the links and I'll have more tutorials on how to do things with this uh, static HTML plug, okay? So anyways, once you're here, just go ahead and click on this button here, uh, add static HTML to a page. It's gonna take you here. All you gotta do is, uh, if you have different um, land or fan pages, it's gonna give you a drop down menu. Um, I already have mine installed, uh, the static HTML installed on mine, so that's why you don't see a drop down menu. But if you have another fan page or you do not have this installed, you're going to see this right here. All you got to do is just click on the add static HTML button and it's going to take you right to your, uh, your fan page. If everything went well, it's going to take you straight into your timeline page or your fan page, okay? Now, if you have uh, all tabs already installed like I do here, you won't see it up here. You might have to go ahead and click on this little arrow here, okay, to be able to see the tabs. Now, you're going to look for something like this here. It says welcome, and then it's like a gray, ugly looking star here, okay? So, to start editing this, all you got to do is just click on the actual uh, star, and it's going to take you to the actual uh, page where you're going to do all of your editing, your copying and, and pasting and so forth, okay? Now right here, you're going to see two different boxes here or two different options. One says public content and one says fans only. What this means is that you can actually create like a, a single page just for non-fans, so and like a call to action for them to go ahead and like your page. And then on the fans only content, what this will do is it will only show this page to the fans. So once those people click on like, they will see this page. Today, I'm not gonna show you how to do that. I'll leave that for another video, okay? Today, we're just gonna show you how to create a landing page and we're gonna do it right here in this public content. So the first thing you're gonna do is right below this video, you're gonna see a, uh, the download link to for this, for this code here, okay? Go ahead and open that up. Once you see this code, just go ahead and highlight the entire thing and go ahead and copy it, okay? Bring it back to your Facebook right here on the uh, on the content or public content just go ahead and paste it there 
that's it really simple and easy to do right guys and this is where you're actually going to start editing uh your source code okay there's three things you're going to edit here right here at the very top okay the first line you're going to see headline goes here okay this is where you're going to go ahead and type in your headline for uh, whatever it is that you're going to give them okay in this case is how to create a Facebook landing page now guys remember you want your headline to be short simple and straight to the point exactly what they're going to get what you're going to teach them and so forth okay so that's a really good line here a one-liner or maybe even a two-liner you don't want anything more than that the next thing you're going to need is your video code here okay and right here right just scroll down a little bit and right here where you see video code goes here this is where you're going to paste your embed code from YouTube or wherever I got mine's on YouTube so I'm gonna go ahead and go to YouTube go to right here you see my god I paused it just at the perfect moment didn't I anyways just go to any any one of your videos that you want to put there click on this share button okay click on this embed uh, button here and right here guys very very important that you do this right down here on the width okay make sure that it is 480 all right 480 pixels wide very important uh, in order for the source code to look right and your opt-in page to look right the height it really doesn't matter because it all depends on uh, what YouTube gives you you could go ahead and edit it if you want but I only worry about the width that's really the most important so once you got that done just go ahead and copy the source code there or the embed code bring it back to your Facebook and then right down here just go ahead and highlight that entire uh, sentence there video code goes here delete it and then paste in your uh, embed code that's it guys very simple and easy to do okay the next thing you're going to do is copy and paste your Aweber uh, web form right here in this uh, section here where it says Aweber code goes here now remember guys you could use anything you else you want if you have another one or another service like eye contact get response you could use the same thing it all works the same all right so let's go back to uh, Aweber and I'm right here guys I already have a list name created if you don't have one just go ahead and create a list name once it's created go to web forms here click on this web form button here it's gonna take you to this page where you're gonna create a new web form so you're gonna create a new one here click on that button it's gonna take you to uh, the design page and Aweber has a ton of cool little designs that you could just play around with pick and choose I mean really they have a, a ton of them but or you could just create if you're really handy and, and crafty and, and our designer you could create your own right but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and use the generic one here I'm just gonna go ahead and delete a few things here that I don't want like this blue thing here the name because I really don't like uh, you know collecting the names just the emails uh, this bottom thing here and then this one here I'm going to leave this one we respect your email privacy and so forth I'm going to edit this one here though submit button I'm gonna go ahead and click on that right down here I'm gonna go ahead and put get instant access and I hope I'm spelling that guy right guys I uh, you know I re heavily rely on this uh, the spell checker thing all right anyways get instant access and I usually put like two little arrows as like a call to action go ahead and click on save web form then just gonna go ahead and click on this go to step two it's gonna take you to step two where you're gonna do some more editing and basically right here you're going to name your uh, your your opt-in form. I'm gonna call mine's landing uh, Facebook landing page. Okay, right down here the thank you page. This is where they're going to get redirected to after they opt in. So you you have a choice of leaving it at the Aweber one that they provide for you or creating your own uh, custom page. And you can send them to like yourwebsite.com forward slash download or you know god my spelling is horrible here today guys download page or whatever you want guys all right i'm gonna go ahead and just leave it at the aweber one the basic version okay uh, just for the sake of the video because uh, i don't have a thank you page uh, ready yet but anyways go ahead and do that go ahead and click on save web form and then just go ahead and go to step three Okay, now this is very important guys that you listen to this part here because it's very very important a lot of guys a lot of people mess up on this area here okay don't worry about these these other two options here you worry about this first one I will install my form okay click on that click on raw HTML version and then right there you're gonna highlight that entire code copy it bring it to uh, to Facebook okay and you're going to paste that code right here 
just like you did with the video part just go ahead and highlight that little section go ahead and uh, delete it paste it and that is it you're pretty much done here guys all right so let's go ahead and click on save changes once that little thing says all saved go ahead and click on preview and it's going to take you to this page which is a preview of of the admin version okay the actual visitors and your non-fans are not going to see all this ugly little tabs here okay they're just going to see the actual opt-in form but as you can see all, all it is is just pretty much just copy and paste and just put it into this Facebook thing and you got yourself a Facebook landing page okay uh, the arrow don't worry about the arrow I provide that with you in the source code so you don't have to upload any images or anything like that just worry about the video and the uh the uh little web form thing here okay and that's pretty much it for this tutorial guys that's how you create a facebook landing page now i'm going to create more little tutorials super quick tutorials on how to change these arrows how to change this get instant button and how to if you don't want because not everybody knows uh, how to do or likes doing video but they prefer to do an image a picture i'm going to show you how to do that but i'll do that on another video so i won't take forever in a day with this one video okay so if you want to get those tutorials just head on over to my blog which is www.incompress.com forward slash facebook landing page that's where you will see all the tutorials i'm also going to give you other downloads and other images of like you know different kinds of arrows and call to actions and and images and things like that some extra goodies just for you guys visiting my uh, my blog okay so uh with that said this is joey kissimmee peace i love you for free and i'll see you on the next